from Strathcona. Mr. Speaker, perhaps the Minister could do something to support Aboriginal businesses. These Conservatives came to power promising transparency and accountability, that rig contracts were a thing of the past. It's obvious in the wake of mounting court cases, not much has changed. Just last year, Veritac pled guilty to bid rigging. Public Works and Government Services then awarded them new contracts worth millions of dollars. Under the Conservatives' new alleged tough rules, the company would still not be blacklisted. This government is favouring bid riggers over honest Canadian businesses. Is this the fairness to business and fiscal accountability Canadians were promised? The Honourable Minister of Public Works. Mr. Speaker, that's not the case. The member knows that we have implemented and developed a tough integrity framework to ensure that companies that are convicted of crimes cannot do business with Public Works and are being banned from bidding on contracts. Other departments have also begun to implement these same tough integrity measures, including Defence Construction Canada. In the case of CRG, who did receive a, a contract from Defence Construction Canada, I contacted uh, DCC myself and I understand that they are applying the same integrity framework that Public Work has to their own contracting, and they will be banning this company from bidding on any contracts with them as well. The Conservatives have left the door open so that companies found guilty of collusion can bid on public contracts. Mr. Speaker, two companies received 500 contracts from the Conservative government after being found guilty of collusion for bid rigging. Incredible. Why are companies found guilty of collusion still able to bid and get public contracts? When will the Conservatives close the door once and for all for those companies who cheat and misuse taxpayers' money? Honourable Minister of Public Works. Shut the door on this particular company, CRG, who has been convicted of a crime. We have developed a tough uh, integrity framework to ensure that any co any company who has been convicted of a crime or any illegal activity cannot bid on contracts with Public Works and will be banned from bidding. Other departments have also begun to implement these same measures, including Defence Construction Canada. They've assured me that they're implementing the same tough measures, and this company in question will, from now on, be banned from bidding on any any contracts with Defence Construction Canada.